one for him. Uh, just more pinching and poking. Oh, a commitment now for Bulldog. He's in trouble. He has to go for the deny. He's not going to get it. Spartan does. And it's going to be at Finem who's strike first. And uh oh, on the other side, we catch the back end of that one. Lona makes it away, but Spartan wants to get here. Does he have a te oh, tether creep? He's gone. Oh my god. Oh, can he get the block? The block, the maybe next time block. It's there, boys. Oh, come on, you move. No. Okay, no, just he keeps going. Spartan's waiting for a tether. Here it comes. Spirit Ball's going to be flying out. It'll pop, but this is Ogre. He's got eight armor. He's got regen. He's got gains. He's hard to kill. He's juking. He's waiting for his own deny. He also not going to get it. Spartan takes that one. Yep. And as they move in now, they'll slow him down and relocate. Also going to be committed for this one. It's Kandara and Spartan here. Omni Slash will quickly go out. The Crimson Guard does a nice job mitigating the damage, but now the Roar follow-up will quickly get rid of the Wisp. Good egg from Ake here. They are going to get a mega kill on for the Jug, but can they take him down in the end and get a big piece of that money pie? The Lions want it, but uh, it looks like it not might not be so easy. AF could use this Aegis to potentially begin to ascend into the high ground, and then that's where Alliance could really begin to struggle. They start to dish out the damage. It's not the best. A jump in from Ricky to quickly take out the bird, and, and now Alliance realize that trouble could be approaching. Roar just for the jug. They followed up with a multicast, and quickly they'll reposition him, and now Alliance are just halfway committed between doing the rush and taking this fight. There's going to be the Omni to look for Spartan. Spartan's going to go ahead and get him the Clipper Cape. He's good. Aki finds a good spot to egg. Loda tries to hide under it, retreats back and out. Looks like it'll be 1-1 one, one apiece, but they've already lost their hardest hitter in S4. And uh, now they could get a good takedown. They grab the jug kill, and Alliance are looking for more. Thug is going to be forced to retreat. They don't really have the best team for a high ground defense. They have Puck to kind of start things off, but I'm curious to see if they have a good answer for this Alliance push. Oh, they're just going to go for the rat. They're actually going to get the Rex on the top oh, lane. Oh, wow, they're going to get much rat. faster. Man, Madara hits real fast. Alliance could be in trouble here. They split up and apart, and now Alliance make their move in the mid. And we'll see. Back at the racks they go. But look who's back at top lane. They're going to get the racks themselves. It's a racks apiece, possibly. Yeah, Alliance will get the mid racks. Oh, mid lane. This could be it. Darkness is going to be popped. He'll look to make a quick go. S4 is going to use his pike, but it shoves him back. Pops his crits, and he's soaking up all that damage pretty nicely with the assistance of Ake coming in. Now Loda shows his face, but S4 could be in trouble. He's hard to bring down, but they'll finally get him. Quill going to be committed as Loda will get the finish on Skylark. And now Thug is going to be caught up in the mix. Madar turns back for the oh, egg. We'll be able to take it down. Double kill for him, and he's going to go for Bulldog. Making an ultra kill. He's going for Loda. Loda's not going to make it away. He gets stunned and taken down. That's an age is going to be committed. Can they make it possibly a Ravage? For Madara, it looks like he will be able to make it through the trees and jump forward, though, from maybe next time. And I think they might have to let him go. But Alliance Buyback. take a hard Buyback. hit. But now the Jug begins to go to work on this Tier 3. There's going to be no Roar, no Egg. And I don't know if they have a good way to stop this. Loda is going to have his, his Haunt here in one second. But the Raxes are in trouble. Now the Haunt could have come out. Madara has his eyes on the prize. He has his eyes on the grand final, and he's just going to keep going for the racks. BGM and Bulldog both try to stop him, but they can't. The Swordsman gets the job done, and he's just walking away. Pops his BKB, says, get the hell out of my way, Aki, but Bulldog will be there to save him with the roar. But it's Megas. Alliance go right back to work on the Tier 4s now. Lift will be committed. They step back again. Very tense situation here for Alliance. If they want to stay alive in this tournament, they need to win this game. Tier four. She's on S4, okay. by the way. Jumping again from Thug. They now even have a Lotus Orb here to help out for this Jug, but S4 continues to grind away. Can he get it? It doesn't look like it, so if they slowly siege it, eventually they will make their move. A bounce back stun. And they will burst down Loda. A buyback, a haunt to get him back into the base. Hawk is going to commit the egg. Modara goes right for the egg, spins for it. Makes his move forward. Thug, though, getting slashed up. 
And it looks like Madara's in trouble, trying to make it back for the fountain. It looks like he will make it back to the safety zone. And now Alliance have to frantically go back for the towers. Can they get the tier four down? Can they go for the shrine? They're gonna be going for it here to stay alive. Can they stop him? They move in, they're gonna pop the cloud. Now they focus the, the bulldog down, they'll get him. Meanwhile, Lotus still going for the shrine here. S4 also diverting a lot of attention his way. Lotus still going for it. Can they stop him? He's inside the shrine. They can't get him. He's inside the shrine attacking it as much as he can. Thug tries his best, but they all go down. They can't do it. Advanem hold, and now they TP in to finish the game. Alliance have been eliminated from the Summit 5, and the Greeks move on to the finals to face Virtus Pro. What a game. What a game. Uh, those plays all around. Alliance had a chance to win this game, but man, AF, they... They showed us that Ricky is viable.